Scheduling cases to investigators or yourself if you're a one-person operation is easy to do from inside the Crosstrax platform. In order to schedule a case, you can click on a case, which we've done here, then click on Edit Case. That's going to bring up the Edit Case screen. Scroll down to the Service Schedule information. You can see the various services that are available for the case and also any schedules that have already been made. There is a background check on this case that I want to schedule. My surveillance portion of the investigation appears to be already scheduled. I'm going to click the plus to add a scheduled date. I'm going to schedule the service, which is the background check for the date that I would like. I can select a time if I want. During the first part of this tutorial, I'm just going to go over the basics as far as scheduling. In this one, I'm going to add an investigator. I can start typing in their name. It's going to give me the options. I'm going to schedule that to them. If I want to add the supervisor, I can certainly do that as well. And then I want the investigator to be emailed and I want the supervisor to be emailed as well. Once I get done, I'm going to click Submit. Then on the Case Details screen, we can see that the background investigation has been scheduled for that date. So in scheduling, there are some advanced options that you can take advantage of that are really helpful when you're trying to schedule a case or you need to schedule a case that has special circumstances uh, such as a date specific or let's say you're working a case that has to be worked on a certain day because there's an event such as a deposition or something like that. You can do the optional designation here and you can add date specific or any of these other items that are included in the, in the platform. When you're scheduling an investigator, if you click on the red GPS icon, you can search a map which allows you to determine where the closest investigator is or maybe uh, an investigator that would have to travel the least distance in order to cover a file. That's a great feature inside the system so you can maximize the profits on your investigations. Here's another item that you can utilize. If you click on the I next to any of your investigators' names, it'll pull up their brief profile screen, quick contact information, if you will. So you can click here to email them, see their phone numbers, their mobile phone, and also their address if you need to check that information out real quick. If you also want to edit their profile, if you need to do that, that's available from this link as well. So just to recap, in order to schedule an investigation, click on Edit Case. You can scroll down to the Service Schedule section and click on the plus sign to add a date or service to an investigator's schedule. Once you finish with that, you can click Cancel or click Submit in this situation so that you can go back to the Case Details screen. Once those items are scheduled, you can see those here and the service information. You can edit these or view an investigator's profile and see the investigator's contact information if you need to give them a call real quick. You can also schedule investigators via the map portion to view investigators that are closest to a certain investigation that you may need at a certain time.